Okay, from where was I? From Haydock over to Kempton for the Feltham Novice Chase, the G1 here over three miles. Number one is Hot Port, two is James Yogi, three is Aero Love, four Celestial Lights, five eights the ground, six is Mare Days, seven is Triple Play, seven of them go to the post. A lucky number and the favourite eights the ground for Joshua Sutherland. I'll be looking to win this three mile novice. Starter's already got him away. We just got the seven and they're straight into the first. Everybody's over it, although a little bit slow was Aero Love in the Molly at Surfer Silks. So it's Celestial Light that's going to lead them into the second. The ditch gets over it well. All starting to get a little bit strung out already here. And it's Celestial Lights from Hot Port and then Aero Love out wider. A uh, length or so ahead of James Yogi and Triple Play together. And then a couple of lengths back to Eights the Ground and Mare Days. So we're through two of the 19. And they have already got strung out. We've probably got 12 to 15 lengths between first and last here. With just seven runners. It's Celestial Knights for John Morgan that leads us. From Hot Port of Paul Rhodes in second. And Molly at Surfers, Aero Love in third and the grey triple play against the fence and James Yogi in the pink silks on the outside of that and just at the rear is eights the ground and mare days so it's Celestial Lights leads them into the plane one the fourth everybody jumps it well James Yogi was a little bit slow over it and we've already got Indian foul here and Celestial Lights going to lead them into the next by about three lengths to Hot Port and links back to Aero Love to this ditch. Everybody's over it. A little bit slow was hot pot, hot port. But it's still Celestial Lights that leads. And still got a good a couple of miles still left to travel. They approach the six. It's a plain one. Celestial Lights was a little bit slower over that. But uh, these novices uh, chop and change. All learning their trade. But it's Celestial Lights leads by about four to hot port. And we've got James Yogi moving up into third. Aero Love against the fence. And a couple of lengths back to Mare Days and Triple Play together. And then eights the ground, just stalking them all. So as they go around this bend, approach the, the home straight next time round. Go into the seventh. Everybody jumps that. Mare Days was a little bit slow. But it's still Celestial Lights that's going to lead them coming to the 8th which I think is the last next time round all over that though Aero Love didn't jump it well he's demoted himself into last position and there's going to be the last next time round as they all get over the ninth. so it's Celestial Lights leads by 3 still from Hot Pool in 2nd James Yogi is 3rd 8th the ground's made up some ground and is in 4th then we've got a couple of lengths back to Triple Play and Aero Love together and then just on there Haunches is Mare Days as they go back off out for one more circuit, a mile and a half to travel. It's Celestial Light still, been there since the beginning. Leads by a couple to Hot Port. And a couple back to James Yogi and eights the ground. And a further two to Aero Love. They go over the water. Everybody negotiates it well. We're through ten. Over half the fence is taken. Everybody's still on their feet. Comes to this plain one, the eleventh. Everybody jumps it well. The grey triple play jumped it fastest, but it's still down in fifth position at the moment. So it's Celestial Light leads them into the ditch. Everybody's over that. Slow jump by eight to the ground. I don't think anybody's uh, doing. We're losing one here. Aero Love's getting pulled up. Bad luck for Moilitz. Didn't jump particularly well. But, uh, he's gone. So it's still Celestial Lights. Just over a mile left to travel from Hot Port in second, although that gap's been cut now just to, to a couple of lengths. And then we've got James Yogi and eights the ground just on the outside of those. And we've got three to four lengths back to triple play. And then Mayor Day's just at the rear as he's been most of the race. And as they take this top bend into the 13th. Really nice fast jump there by eights the ground. And Celestial Lights is being pushed along again wants to maintain the lead going into the 14th jumps it slowly and there's a loud eight to the ground just to pull up alongside but being pushed along again by the jockey not allowing to be challenged for first so it's celestial lights eights to the ground hot pull 
these three, and about three lengths back to Jane Jogi, triple play and Mare Days. Into the ditch, the 15th. Everybody gets over it. It's still Celestial Lights. Bates the ground and Hotport under a little bit of pressure now to close the gap. They get it down to about a length. So it's Celestial Lights from eights the ground. Hotport, one moving very well now is James Yogi into the 16th. Everybody's over it. And it's still Celestial Lights. Oh, and we've got a bit of a blitch here. Celestial Lights and eights the ground. I don't know what's happened there. And we're getting one pulled up as well. I don't know what happened there. Eights the ground's been pulled up. But it's Celestial Lights that leads from James Yogi in second. Then we've got Hot Port, Triple Play, Mare Days. And that's it left. Sorry, Celestial Lights, that little bit of uh, glitch got me there. So we're inside the final three. And we've got another glitch here. Another pause on the Felton Novice Chase. But, uh, I'm not sure if it's a problem as they get over the the 17th so it's Celestial Lights that leads now from James Yogi in second triple play making up some good ground in third then we've got Mare Days in fourth Hot Port in five so it's Celestial Lights jumps to the 18th slowly and there's a loud triple play the grey now to come up and challenge for first one moving really well on the outside inside the final third and there's Mare Days they get over the last and it's triple play that's sprints into the lead now just by half a length Celestial Lights trying to fight back Mare Days plugging on but it's triple play inside the last hundred yards it's triple play it's going to take this from Celestial Lights Mare days in third. Hotport was fourth. James Yogi was fifth. And obviously we had a few little blips and blumps there and uh, that run but it's triple play for Thunderspark that takes this. Second was Celestial Rights for John Morgan. Third was Mayor Days for Darren Thompson. Fourth was Hotport for Paul Rhodes. And I didn't even get the fifth.